So, uh, trying to find the right... <clears throat> I should use the microphone here. So, uh, trying to find the right tobacco pipe can be a little tricky because the first tobacco pipe I had, I don't need to keep saying tobacco pipe. You probably realize now I'm talking about tobacco pipes, so... I'll stop doing that, but the first pipe I had was a... Uh, one of those cheap, like, gas station uh, corn cob. I had a corn cob pipe, six dollars. That pipe worked fine. Totally good. It burnt a little quicker than one of these. This one my wife got me, and it's uh, the Crooner series, I think. It's like, uh, it's Bing's favorite. It's a Bing Crosby-styled pipe, and I think it was around, I think like $150. Somewhat, you know, whatever. But pipes go up to like, an unbelievable amount. The more you get into anything, the more subtlety you notice in the differences and the qualities. I smoke this pipe, I mean, fairly often. On average, once a week, I'd say. Sometimes more, sometimes less. <sighs> to me, it just comes down to the feel of the pipe. I mean, get a decent quality pipe. You know, 30, 40, 50 dollars should do it just fine. And just stick it in your hand. <laughs> Anyways, uh, hold it, you know, see what it feels like. Probably don't want to go into the pipe shop and just stick a bunch of pipes in your mouth. You might get thrown out, but you should hold it. Pro tip. Is there such a thing as a professional piper? Anyways, um, I like a pipe that you can sit down on a table and it doesn't roll off. This one kind of does that as a fairly flat bottom because otherwise they're kind of a pain. Like if you're, because you have it lit, you have it ready to go and it's nice to sit it down like this without it like toppling over. So having a pipe that can sit like that is a bonus. It's not necessary, but it's a bonus because I mean the tobacco stays in there uh, if it goes to the side, but you know, whatever. That was helpful. Guaranteed. Here, our power was just turned on, back on after like four days, so I guess that has something to do with that. Wow. What's going on there? For those in the know. What is that green box? Anyways, there's our mailboxes. You might think to yourself, what a waste of time showing us how you get the mail. Who cares about that? Why would you do such a thing? I don't know. And here we are. Yay, this is what I needed. Ah, waiting on a hard drive from a client. The thing I needed, a hard drive, didn't come in today. And that's a bummer because the client I'm working with, a pretty steady client, but they needed this project done quick and I think they're probably gonna get, uh, it's loud, pretty loud. I guess that this uh, icy snowy storm caused a delay, but I don't know, that's a bummer. Let's time lapse back in case you're wondering what it looks like on the way back from the mill. Success. Not that I'm generally unsuccessful when I'm going to get the mail. If you're unsuccessful going to your mailbox, for some reason, you've got some you've got some things to work out there. If you like this uh, the show, I do. Uh, I don't do a lot of pipe and cigar. Post, but I'm gonna do more of them because I posted a cigar video and it's doing better than all my other videos. So I guess I'll do more of these. Mm. Tobacco's delicious.